Hello, I'm the Beauty Professor, and you can find my beauty blog at www.beautyprofessor.net. So today, incidentally, is my sixth wedding anniversary, and I truly cannot believe how quickly the time has passed. I am beyond thankful for having such an incredible husband who has made married life not only enjoyable, but a super fun adventure. And while we're going to do something tonight to celebrate, I have had the afternoon to myself, which has been blissful. It's allowed me to organize some things that I needed. It's allowed me to organize and pick up and also to be outside taking pictures for my blog. But because I've been so active and it's been rather warm here in Southern California, I've had my hair up in a bun, very similar to this, and this is kind of my go-to hairdo when I'm in a pinch or in a bind and don't have a clip or a hair tie handy. It will stay this way indefinitely, and while that's a great remedy to hair otherwise hanging in your face, it does tend to leave some significant dents in my hair afterwards. So I, if I want a smooth and polished look, I'm going to have to do something about it. That being stated, I am really excited to be working with a new hair tool for me, which is the HANA Professional Ceramic Flat Iron with Tourmaline. And this is something I received from the company Masico, which specializes in high-end hair styling products. Now the ceramic Hair straightener is a good, great one inch size, which is the standard. This Korean made styling tool features five heat settings, which can be set right here with a very easily accessible dial. Also the on and off button. And perhaps the most beautiful robin's egg blue ceramic plates I have ever encountered on a hair straightener, which of course is just aesthetic, but it's gorgeous to look at. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the straightener and do a real-time demonstration showing you how it combats the frizz and tangle of this hair that has been in a bun all day. So I turned the straightener on and set it to 370 degrees, which is the second to the hottest, and that's typically what I will use with my hair, which is not colored or chemically treated, so I can it can withstand a hotter heat setting with my so it can withstand a hotter heat setting with my straightener and I find that it just straightens out a lot more quickly and it's already hot I mean it is completely warmed up it it heated up in about 10 seconds so I am initially incredibly impressed by how quickly this heats up now I'm going to go ahead and brush out my hair just a little bit because I don't want to encourage the tangles by running a straightener through already heavily tangled hair. And I'm just using my Sephora detangling brush. It's one of my trusted favorites for removing the tangles from my hair. And so I'll just do a light brushing. This won't be a full force endeavor, but enough to prepare my hair for the heat treatment. So at this point, I when I straighten my hair, I typically just bring both sides to the front, and I'll get back so you can see how long this hair is that I'm dealing with. It's the longest it's been in a very long time, and I'm just kind of letting it grow and seeing what happens. So while I love having long hair, I find that it looks a lot more polished when it is smoothed out, unless you're intentionally curling it or making it wavy, but this is just like that no man's land. You know, it's neither straight nor is it wavy or curly in an intentional manner. So I'm going to go ahead and straighten it. All right, the straightener is incredibly uh, well crafted. It feels secure in my hand. It's got this gorgeous matte black case. And even though the plates heated up excruciatingly quickly, this remains completely cool to the touch. Let's get started. So I just start right up at the front here. I'm not one to subdivide my hair into sections using a rat tail comb. I appreciate the effort that goes into that, but typically I don't have the time or the motivation to be that precise. I'm just going to start up here at the top and pass this through my hair that's only been lightly brushed. If 
That's one pass. Super straight. It feels very silky and soft. Already there's a massive difference. Moving on. And sometimes I'll just choose to straighten the top of my hair, not the underneath part, because then I have a little more volume. My hair by nature is pretty straight. So when it gets wavy or dented, it's because I've actually unintentionally put dents into it by putting it up in a ponytail or a bun. All right, that was quick and easy. It's looking nice and silky. I love how smooth this runs through my hair. There is no drag or friction. Just glides through very comfortably. And it is, I might add, extremely hot, but not too hot for me to touch my own hair. I'm just mindful of the fact that I wouldn't want to grab it with full force. So that's my third pass. And then I'll just take some from the back here. You can see it's all dented. And there you go. So probably part of the dented nature besides the, the bun. Another thing I could attribute the dents to would be the fact that when I washed it last night, I went to bed with it wet and I never brushed it out. I know that's bad, but it had been a long week and I was just ready to crash. So been home today, it wasn't imperative that I spent extra time with it. All right, so this is a pretty thick piece and I just ran through this a couple times as I was speaking. You can see nice and straight. I always make sure when I straighten my hair, even though I might not do all of the underneath, I will take this portion right here closest to the ear because if you push your hair back, it will show and you don't want it to look snarly while the rest of your hair is glassy and straight. Glassy, glossy and straight, there we go. All right, so you can already see the difference, smooth, Dented, and that's without using a hairbrush, but it, I will intensify the results by now just brushing my hair one more time through, and now you can see how effective that was in literally three minutes. I'm looking at the clock on the timer on my camera here. It's in three minutes of just marginal effort, my hair has now become completely smooth, silky, and polished, and you can see the movement is pretty significant. It's just silky enough to really move nicely when I move my head around. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now. So I'm going to go ahead and just break off those sections. I think I sectioned it off into roughly three sections, maybe a fourth. Just running my fingers through this kind of snarly part and just running the straightener through. Now sometimes, if I'm in a hurry, I'll just pass it through very quickly and do it a couple of times. And it's almost like I'm brushing my hair with my straightener. That is the feeling I get when I do this. And I just find that you still get the benefit of the heat, but you're not exposing your hair to the heat for as long of a period of time. Just doing it in rapid little bursts. So we'll try that technique on this side. I suspect the outcome will be just the same as what I did over here. I do love the fact that my hair does not get caught in any crevices, any nooks and crannies of the ceramic plates. It's smooth and the edges are sealed off, so there's no place for your hair to get caught. And I have used straighteners, even expensive straighteners before, where that has been an issue. So the Hanna straightener went out of its way to make sure that there was no place for your hair to get caught. That's good on so many levels. And I think we're good. I will intensify the straightness by running my brush through it. And I'll try to get back so you can see the full effect. All right, so you saw what it looked like before. And now you see the results of the Hanna ceramic flat iron professional version with tourmaline, which just makes for a really smooth, really effective, well-heated plate. There's my hair, moving around. If you are interested in getting your very own Hanna Professional Ceramic Flat Iron with tourmaline, they do retail for about $130 on the Masico website, and I will include pictures of what my order looked like from Masiko 
it is amazing. When you order from the website, they include a plethora of little gifts. I'll see if I can either insert that in the video or I will definitely have pictures of it on my blog. And these gifts are color coordinated. In my case, they were all shades of purple, but things like an eyelash curler and a brush and a eyeshadow brush and even potpourri. So it makes getting a styling tool so much more enjoyable when there's all these little surprises thrown in for good measure. So it's an excellent company in terms of getting your order quickly and also having a host of little extras to make the order that much better. Now that my hair is good to go, I'm going to go ahead and throw on a couple coats of mascara and get ready to go celebrate my wedding anniversary. I truly hope you found this quick tutorial and review helpful and I welcome your questions and your comments. As always, please don't forget to visit me at my beauty blog, Beauty Professor, which can be found at www.beautyprofessor.net.